Yeah, we're at five. Yeah, yeah, it's sold already. Sold, sold in six hours. trip today. We gotta check for something. We gotta check on something. See if it's still here. I don't see it. I don't see it. There's a pair of men's made well. Ooh, they got new tags. I don't know what Colors half off, but we'll throw this in. We're looking for the Rock Revival jeans that were over here last week. I don't see them. It looks like somebody picked them up. Uh, yeah, it looks like somebody picked, picked them up. It would have been right here. Oh, well, we tried. Pick up Fuji jeans? I will if they're cheap enough. All right, we got to figure out what colors are half off. We got a little bit of competition today, so go ahead and see what they got. Let's get a little bean. I'm gonna pass on the LL bean for now. What's good, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Tommy Hilfiger, some Kuji for $20, is that too much? The jeans, probably, yeah. It's a spider, too much for a spider. They still haven't updated the color tags yet on the screen, so I got them, because I'll just throw stuff in my cart until I realize what's half off and what's not. morning good morning everybody welcome in welcome in if you're not following hit that follow button top left hand corner and now we're looking for stuff to buy and resell online for a profit i'm not seeing much anything in the jacket section unfortunately there's quite a few people here today so i don't know how much we're going to end up leaving with but that's okay Throw this in the cart for now. I'll look that up later. Eddie Bauer is good. Uh, that Eddie Bauer wasn't too good. With jackets, I'm starting to be a little bit more selective because we're heading to the end of jacket season. So um, most of these jackets have to sell pretty quick. Otherwise, they are going to be kept till next year. And that's what I don't want happening. So it's a nice LL Bean, but it has that embroidery on it. Levi's. Uh, what do you do if you notice um, flaw after you pay for it and that but not mailed? Um, I'll message a buyer and let them know about the flaw. And if they're still interested in buying, then I'll send it to them. If not, then I'll just cancel the sale and said buyer ex, uh, buyer asked to cancel. I can't believe those Rock Revival jeans still aren't here. That's crazy. That is crazy that somebody paid, actually. I think they were 50 bucks last week. Maybe they were 40. Can't remember. It's a nice Adidas. What, $9.99? They still haven't updated the price. Uh, the uh, prices yet. There's a nice LL Bean. I'm assuming blue's not half off. 
because they have blue new blue tags. <clears throat> what do they don't answer messages? Um, if they don't answer, then you just have to send it as is. This should be a goose down Eddie Bauer. Tag's been ripped off. I'm pretty sure that little sign means it's goose down. So I'm gonna throw this in the cart. Somebody can let me know in the chat. I'm pretty sure that means it's goose down. So a spider jacket. Densolate spider jacket, $24.99. I don't know if blue's half off. I'm gonna throw it in the cart for now. We can always put it back. Um, what color, I don't know what colors um, are half off. The screens right now are black. So they don't have the, uh, they don't have the colors on the screens. A true religion sweatshirt but it's too much yeah i don't know what colors are half off either carhartt so we'll just throw stuff in the cart and hope uh, hope it's uh hope, hope it's half off for now if it's not we could always put it back at the end no biggie it's a good thing about thrifting is you can just throw it in your cart and side later appreciate everybody hanging out too if you're not following hit that follow button i do these live thrifts multiple times a week going to thrift stores retail stores buying stuff cheap reselling online for a profit that's what i do for a full-time job this is a north face jacket it should be half off because it is yellow tag and yellow tags were full price last week it for this aisle let's go to the jeans next should be able to feel the feathers it is puffy but i can't really feel if it has a uh, goose down in it sometimes it's kind of hard because they put stuff that doesn't have goose down by the way it looks like they're redoing some of these racks because look at all this stuff holy cow all this brand new inventory Man, this is insanity how much inventory they have. <laughs> All right, we're not going to go through that, though. They're working hard. I don't want to bother them. All right, people, look at this. Uh, right now, there's, like, tons of people in this store, but nobody but one person is in the men's section right now. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx myself. But there's hardly anybody in the men's section. Everybody's in the women's section. And everybody is in the shoe section. I guess people don't like men's clothing. Land's end. So I'll take it. I'll take I'll take no competition. Got a pair of Uggs for $2.99 yesterday. Let's go. Hidden LA. Anybody know if this is a good brand? I'm assuming it is. Because it looks like one of those good brand tags. I'm going to throw it in the cart right now. Hidden LA. Somebody can tell me if I'm... If it's good or not. Looks like a pair of women's actually. A lot of work, a lot of time. I guess. If you're talking about doing this, yeah, but look what I'm doing. I'm having fun while I'm doing it. This is the life. I got no boss telling me what to do. Ross's Air Max 90s, all different patterns. Yeah, I saw I saw um, one of my buddies, he uh, he buys a lot of stuff from Ross to flip online. And uh he was buying them buckaroo. Never heard that. RZ Flippers, what's up? RZ Flippers was on live last night. I was hanging out in his live. There were only like 10 people in there. We had a good time. You guys need to go follow RZ Flippers if you're not following him already. Chad says, your boss. Chad's right another pair of Madewell. I don't know what color tags are half off. I'll throw this in the cart for now. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Hidden is page jeans? Okay. I'm going to throw them in the cart. I don't know what they price out at, but they're, they might be half off. All beans. They're not flannel line. different things are trying to make a minimum of a hundred dollars a flip on one item that's good if you're part-time that's that's a good thing to do if you're full-time that's pretty hard to do 
obviously I do this full time, so I have to I have to make enough income to support my family. So that means I have to go for the little flips too. I got to have a good mix of little flips and big flips. But everybody has different business models. What's great about this business is you can make whatever business model works for you, and you can make it work. Um, stuff that I pick up, you probably won't pick up, and that's completely fine. Everybody has their own method to the madness. I'm assuming blue tags aren't half off. Next worker I find, I'm gonna ask him. I think the lady in my aisle, she only speaks Spanish, and I don't, I don't speak any Spanish, unfortunately. Men's Joe's jeans for $4.99, let's go. Are you in a cold area? No, I'm in Florida, actually. It's pretty crazy, I know. This, this store has pretty uh, awesome awesome jeans and, and jackets, and I'm not even in a cold weather area. Appreciate everybody hanging out, too. If you're not following, hit the follow button. Top left-hand corner. Um, if you miss any part of this live, it will be up on my YouTube channel later today. Download it and put on YouTube. You can rewatch all the live thrifts that I've been doing over the last few weeks. They're all up on YouTube currently, right now. Everyone in my red, white, and blue speaks Spanish, too. Yeah. Um, there, there's a lot of English speaking uh, people here, but a lot of them speak Spanish, especially the ones that stock the shelves. So, uh, whenever I have a question, I have to like ask the cashiers. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What do we got? Normally this is the part of the rack that has all the good jeans that just got stocked. Slim straight J. Cruz. You pick up Levi's jeans? No, I don't pick up Levi's jeans. Unless they're brand new with tags or they're vintage, I normally pass on them. All right, that looks like it's it for the jeans. Not too many jeans today, actually. What brand are you? Are you Orvis? I'm not interested in you. <coughs> How much do you look to make on bread and butter items? Around $20 profit. So I'll uh, try to buy something for five and flip it for 35 <clears throat> good morning good morning appreciate everybody hopping in we just got here we do not know what colors are half off because the screens are still off i don't know why they haven't turned the screens on yet so we're just throwing stuff in the cart at this point. Anything that looks good, we're throwing in the cart until we figure out what's half off. Pretty sure it's blue tags because the blue tags look a little bit different. But we can't tell yet. Oh, the rock revivals might be in this section too. Hold on. Let's do a quick scan. Nope, I don't see them. Damn, I can't believe somebody actually bought those rock revivals. How far radius do you to travel to go thrift stores? We traveled about 45 minutes today to get to this thrift store. Right, let's see what we got on these racks. It looks like they're heavily restocking today. Heavily restocking. There's a nice LLB. Tommy Bahama, too basic of one. There's an Orvis. Orvis shoe shirt. There's a North Face. Ten bucks. Tesla Thermal. I've done pretty good with these. Travis Matthew, but they want 15 for it. Which one is this one's mine? I'm gonna put my card up. Pretty 
pretty sure this is mine. Yeah, this is mine. All right. L.L. Bean good? Yeah, if you buy the uh, certain L.L. Beans, they are pretty good. All right, we got one, one person for competition today, so I would go check those new racks, but I got to get through these racks before he uh, comes down here. There's a north face. I think this is half off. Pretty sure that's half off. How much you spend today? Um, I don't know. Depends on how much we find. I don't have a, like, a limit. If I get enough good stuff, I'll, I'll pick up. I'll spend... I think the most we've ever spent out this store is like 850 bucks or something like that. So I'll probably fill this card up pretty completely by the end of the live. I'm trying to show you guys the tags, but it's super hard. These, these racks are completely packed. So I apologize if you can't see what I'm doing. Trying to show as best as I can. There's a Jay McLaughlin. I don't pick those up anymore. Uh, do you wash them before you sell them? No, only if they have stains or bad smells. It's the only time I wash items if they have stains or bad smells. see if this racks a little bit nope just gonna see if this rack had a little bit more space on it but it doesn't it is completely packed I'm always impressed that you keep um, your video so steady yeah I'm just holding my phone right in front of me it's practice makes perfect uh, my wife is currently live too if you want to see somebody thrift the women's section she's currently live in the women's section too so if you guys are interested in watching some of that content, K the Book Nerd is her channel, K the Book Nerd. She's currently live at the same store. Didn't want that L.L. Bean. No, I don't pick up L.L. Beans unless they're heavier flannels or jackets. I don't pick up just regular old L.L. Beans. They don't have a, they don't sell for as much. So I'm looking for stuff that I can sell for 35 or more. And that is something that won't sell for 35 or more. This is half off. I'm not going to scoop it. I'm going to put it back. It's a rubber gram. It's a good one, but they want 50 bucks for it. I'm not going to pay 50 bucks for that rubber gram. I'm trying to show the labels, everybody. I apologize. But this rack is completely packed. Who's buying lunch today? Um, I don't know who's buying lunch today. We actually, our daughter's at our... Uh, She's at our, um, my uh, mother-in-law's house today because she wasn't feeling good. So she uh, she's at her mother-in-law's house. Not the one that stayed home last week, a different one, uh, my oldest. And so we're probably going to stop somewhere to eat after that. I want to see what this is over here. What is this? They only want $12.99 for it. I bet you this is good. I'm gonna throw it in the cart. We'll look it up later. It's a Lionel. I mean, come on. It's a Lionel. I'll throw that on the bottom of the cart. One of you train fanatics can tell me if that's a good pickup. Yes, I think it is too. For $12.99, I mean, you can't, you can't be $12.99 for a Lionel set. Bought that with my eagle eye. This is a suit supply, I believe. Yes, it is. Suit supply. They want $7.99 for it. If it is $7.99, $7 I will pick it up. Choo choo, mother. Oh, sorry. I can't say that on TikTok. My bad. Choo choo. <clears throat> I don't normally pick up hard goods, but that is a pretty good hard good to spot. 
Um, when do you start uh, reducing prices? I don't really reduce prices too much, but I will reduce prices uh, randomly. So my oldest sitting items, I'll normally delist and then I'll do a sell similar on eBay and then I'll drop the price when I do the sell similar if it hasn't sold. It's an L.L. Bean flannel, really nice one, size XL. These are still selling for me, so I'll keep picking those up until they stop selling. This is a Bugatti, but they want too much for it. Choo-choo, motherfucker. Southern Proper, which is Southern Tide. This one should be half off. We'll scoop that one up. All right, 50% off red tags. 50% off green tags. Okay, we gotta wait for the next cycle. They finally put up the new new one. Hey, by the way, if you guys want the Jordan, uh, what is it? The blue Jordans that are dropping in a, a week, they're available on JD Sports right now. If you guys wanna go enter for the uh, Jordans that are dropping, I forget the number of they are. Jordan 5s, I believe. Okay, yellow tags are half off. Yellow. Yellow, white, red, and green. So blue is not half off. Blue is not okay, Thrifty Duckies. Appreciate it. So blue is not half off, which is fine. We'll go through the card at the end. I think I do have some blue items in there, but obviously they just changed that over. So by the way, the guy that was in my aisle, he left because he saw the competition. He said, I don't want any of that. I don't want that smoke. He said, I'm out of here. I don't need that smoke. That's a pretty good J. Crew shirt, but it's extra small. I don't want no smoke. Jordan 5 UNC, that's the one. Jordan 5 UNCs, they're available on JD Sports and Finish Line right now for reservation. I would be reserving a pair, but I'm currently on live, so I figured I'd give you guys a chance to reserve a pair. 3XB, though. $10 for a 3XB. I might actually pay $10 for the shirt. I know it sounds crazy, but this is a linen shirt, and it's a 3XB. Um, I'll actually throw that in the cart. I'll make a decision at the end, but that one's probably coming home with daddy. I believe I can get $40 for that shirt. Big size, good pattern, good, uh, good, um, good make as well. It's made out of linen. How does J Crew do for you? I don't really pick up J Crew too often. The J Crew that I pick up are going to be the military jackets are normally the ones I pick up, but everything else I normally leave. Same with like Brooks Brothers too. You'll see me pass a lot of Brooks Brothers. There's got to be something special about them. Bigger size. They've got to be made out of something special. Otherwise, they're getting left behind. It's a linen, yep. They hardly sell 3X in store. Exactly. That's the reason you want to pick them up is because they're harder for the bigger guys to find. So they will pay good, good prices for them used because they're super hard to find. I can't believe how packed these aisles are right now. They are super packed. Super packed. There's a Burberry. Has nothing, has no logo on it though. This is a Burberry you pass. It's just too much. It doesn't have a logo. It's gonna sit for too long. And a lot of you would probably make the mistake of buying that Burberry, even if, even if it's half off. But to be honest, it's like a $40 max Burberry shirt. All right, Vineyard Vines. What size are you? Size small. These are all size small, but they're four bucks. I think I'm gonna scoop them for four bucks. They were full price last week, and now they're half off. There's another one of those Allen Flusiers, but it's too much. There's another Vineyard Vines, size large. This is half off, and it's a flannel shirt. It's 10 bucks, but I think this could flip for 40 because it's got that nice flannel look to it. Scoop that up. Woolrich is too expensive. Simply styled. There's another Vineyard Vines. This one's a size medium and it's $7.50. So we're gonna scoop this one up. Nice pattern to this one as well. Vineyard Vines, one of my favorite brands to pick up. This is called Tallwoods. Bread and butter brands. Bread and butter. I don't know if you any good. It is good if you get one with like a crazy pattern like that one is, but to be honest, um, I don't, know, I don't ever pick them up unless they're big sizes with crazy patterns. Otherwise, they're normally a pass. There's a Jared Lang flannel. I don't normally pick up Jared Lang, but I wonder if a Jared Lang flannel would sell. Uh, probably going to pass. 
probably gonna pass. Alan Police here, yeah, I think I just answered that. Goodness, these aisles are stocked. Um, let's see. Jared Lang is weak. I know it's weak, but that's a flannel. I don't know how well a Jared Lang flannel would do. Jared Lang is not like Vinnie Vines, you know? It's like a little bit below the Vinnie Vines. Chris, I picked up a 3XB. Robert or Ralph Lauren. I think this one's a 3XB too. They want $10 for this one. It does have a pony logo on the front, but I'll probably leave this one behind. This one's not linen. So next week that'll be picked up. Not this week, it'll be picked up next week. There's a vintage L.L. Bean flannel. It's got like a pocket hit on the front. Um, see what's, it's a size medium. This one's gonna go on the cart. It is six bucks, it's full price, but it's a nice vintage, vintage. It's another Vinnie Vines. I am paying $10 for Vineyard Vines. I don't mind paying $10. They do flip pretty quick for 25 to 35 for me. This is 2XL color for not crazy. Yeah, you gotta get a gotta get them the crazier pattern the better. New York Sportsman Wear Exchange. That sounds fancy. Freeman. Alright, that should be it for this aisle. Let's go check the new racks again. I kind of stopped checking them because uh, I saw a guy in this aisle and I wanted to make sure I hit as much of this aisle as I possibly could before he took all the goodies. If you get Orvis, I pass on Orvis unless it's a heavy flannel. Those Orvis shirts, um, the regular ones, only go for like 20 to 25 bucks. And paying $7 for them, it just doesn't make any sense for me. So. They're all stocking over there. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's do the beginning of this aisle. Since we missed the beginning of the aisle. Let's see if this guy missed anything in the beginning. And then we'll go to the short sleeve shirts. Let's see the third. Name and location. Name. Red, white, and blue. Location. Florida, planet, Earth. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you're not following already, hit that follow button, top left-hand corner. I do these lives multiple times a week. I'm gonna pick up this um, North Face, just a regular North Face shirt. I do these lives multiple times a week where I come to thrift stores. I show you guys what I'm picking up. I'm take you along for the journey. If you miss any part of this live, it does end up on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube right now, Say hello, leave it in the comments. And uh, yeah. Found a beautiful L.L. Bean, nice. I love picking up L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean I used to pass on all the time and now it's like one of my favorite brands to pick up. This is not an L.L. Bean I pick up though, it's too lightweight. It's not one I'd pick up. Ooh. Oh man, it's got embroidery on it. It's a fire resistant. I don't think with that embroidery, I don't think that this would actually sell. It's too bad. That's too bad. That was a good. Uh, that was a good shirt too. <laughs> that was a great shirt. Simply Southern. Actually, that is only. Eh, I don't want it. I don't want it. Fire resistance sells great. Yeah, but it has that embroidery on the front. It's going to hurt the value. They want eight bucks for it. So if it's here next week and it's half off, I'll pick it up. But with that embroidery on the front, it's really going to kill the value. Just, do you want to, do you think you like anybody in the chat, do you really want to walk around with some random, per, random companies embroidery on your chest? People are going to be like, do you work there? And be like, no. And like, why do you, why are you wearing that thing? Oh, I found it at a thrift store. I bought it off K-Way shop. There's another one embroidery on the front. Have you ever tried removing embroidery? I know you can, but to be honest, that's just too much work for the profit I'm gonna make for that. So here's a really good brand, Bullock and Jones. 
very undercover brand. Um, I am gonna pay six bucks for this. I will pay six doll hairs for that one. All right, after this, we're gonna go to the short sleeves. I'll let you guys decide. Do you guys wanna go to the short sleeves or do you wanna go to the sweaters? Ooh, there we go. It's $19.99, it's 20 bucks, but it's a XL tall and it's a Harley Davidson. I'm gonna pick this up. I know it's 20 bucks. I know that's pretty crazy to pay, but it will sell. It will sell. Where do you guys wanna go, sweaters or you wanna to go to short sleeve, like Hawaiian shirts? Size medium, vineyard vines, whale shirt, 750. Scoop this up. Sweaters, sweaters, okay. Guess we'll go to sweaters. Chat, you decided. The only thing I'll say is if there's somebody over there, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a move for the shirts because I don't see anybody in the shirt section. Can we do short sleeve sweaters? Absolutely. I'll go through the racks. I'll only look at short sleeve sweaters. Regular short sleeves, short sleeves. I think we got I think we got quite a few sweaters first. So we'll go sweaters and then we'll make our move back to uh, short sleeves. this everybody k-way is buying hard good k-way is buying hard goods it's crazy did you guys ever think you would see the day that k-way buys hard goods oh there's already there's already somebody in this aisle we'll see uh we'll see if they missed anything Drat, there's already another thrifter in this aisle. Drat. We'll see if he missed anything. We'll go through the first first couple rows. If we're not seeing anything, then we'll go to the other section. Great Plains. <coughs> um what was the high, this shirt, um, those are sometimes good money. I have no clue. I don't remember it. And to be honest, I don't want to go back. So we'll have to, we'll have to hope it's there next week. Wait, Cooper Jones, Cooper Jones. No, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't ring a bell. Brooks Brothers, Croft and Barrow, Starter. Sometimes a jacket section is amazing, and then other times it's just a big drag. We don't really find anything. Abercrombie and Fitch, Orvis, Brooks Brothers. Wish that was a cashmere Brooks Brothers, I'd pick it up. Um, I love vintage from the 80s and 90s. Yeah, vintage does really well. I look for the vintage every now and then. Okay, the, the guy that's in the aisle is a... Uh, he's a uh, vintage seller, so I don't think I have anything to worry about. He's picking out vintage right now. There we go. Hey, see that, everybody? See that tag? Look what it says. 100% Shetland wool. That's what you want to see in a nice L.L. Bean Shetland wool. We're paying 10 bucks for it. That's a really good one. That's a really good little Shetland wool piece. Um, since we're heading into spring, uh, do long sleeves still hit? Yeah, I still, I'm still selling long sleeves on uh, eBay, but yes, they will start slowing down. Obviously, you know the um, uh, the short sleeves, the golf shirts, the Hawaiian shirts. Those are going to start moving here. Um, but I'm still going to pick up. I'll still pick up um, sweaters and jackets in the middle of summer because you're always buying either for this season or next season. And in my area, you normally get jackets super, super cheap. So I'll, uh, I'll pay for jackets, sweaters this time of year. If I have to hold them, I'm getting them so cheap anyway, it really doesn't affect me if I hold them. And by the way, everybody who's in the chat right now, we did sign up for Whatnot and we got approved. We're gonna be starting to do some Whatnot shows uh, within the next week, week and a half. So if you're not signed up for Whatnot currently, I have a link in my bio, link in my bio. You click on the link, you get $10 for free to spend on whatnot if you sign up through my link. So 
definitely go consider doing that. Make sure you're following me on whatnot. We're going to start doing those shows here pretty soon. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to do lots of uh, really good items on whatnot. It's not going to be junk. It's going to be really great items. So whatnot, link in my bio, very first link, sign up for whatnot. You get $10 to spend for free. It's literally, you don't pay any money to sign up. It's absolutely free. So consider doing that. The link in my bio. And I would appreciate it if you give me a follow there too. It's a marmot jacket. We're definitely scooping this. Marmot jacket. Appreciate all the follows too. If you're not following currently, make sure you're following as well. We do these live thrifts every single week. Take you guys along for the journey. And we do put the replays up on YouTube. So if you miss any part of this live, or if you have missed any part of this live, it'll be up on my YouTube channel later today. marmot and just junk i don't know what you woke up on what side of the bed you woke up this morning but marmot always sells that's a 35 dollars jacket i listed a windbreaker a marmot windbreaker last week and it sold in about two days for 33 bucks so marmot is not junk marmot's like pretty on par with north face it's like really on par with north face look at this vintage tommy hill figure how much they want for it what do you guys think? I don't normally pick up Tommy Hilfiger sweaters, but this one is a this one's a pretty crazy print. This might be like a good whatnot item. What do you guys think? Tommy Hilfiger, I know it doesn't move as well as it used to, but that one's a pretty good one. I'll let you guys decide. You all in the chat, pick it up. Love the design. Yeah, the design's good. It's got a nice pattern to it. It's only four bucks, so I mean, can you really go wrong at four bucks? Yes, 35 to 40. Okay, we're scooping it. Appreciate everybody who's following me on whatnot heading over there i'll do that announcement a couple times during the live so i hope it doesn't uh i hope it's not too annoying for you guys that are in the live but trying to get some more people over on whatnot following us is this uh this is another marmot piece it's like a thermal there's no size tag on it though that's the only problem i'm probably going to leave it behind because there's no size tag It'll be really hard to move without that size tag. It looks like a size large, but for five bucks, it's just not, I don't think it'll move. Not quick enough for me anyway. <laughs> I just think they're professional price taggers. Stone, Stone, who hurt you this morning? Did somebody hurt you? I think he's hurt. Everybody in chat, let Stone know that you're thinking about him right now. He's a, uh, He's having a rough day. We appreciate you hopping in, Stone. Junk food. Uh, junk food. Look at this. Baltimore Ravens sweater. I think it's pretty dope. It's 100% acrylic, too. This is definitely vintage. And it's got the little sticker on the front. I don't know if that means anything. It's probably not brand new. What do you guys think about this brand, Junk Food? I've never seen this on a sweater, but it is 100% acrylic, which means it's probably vintage-y or close to being vintage. Maybe it's not. Made in Guatemala. It's nice. Those sell great. Okay, we'll throw it in the cart. It's only $7.50, so I'll look it up at the end. I don't like the Ravens, by the way. I'm a Titans fan. Um, that doesn't sell. I'm going to get rid of it. It's another probably whatnot piece that will do good. <clears throat> union made I don't think it's union made junk food is a modern retro brand okay I'll look it up I don't know I don't know how well it does but full 99 it's a nice Nike hoodie Disney World 2020 oh that's a good one it's got a nice print on the back how much I want for it 10 bucks it's a nice one one listed on eBay for 49 okay four listed and two sold for 40 okay I'll take it that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good Disney sweater. I wish it wasn't so expensive. You check this game. That Disney, I'll buy it from you. That's a, that's a good piece too. It is ten bucks. I think somebody would buy it off you. If somebody's interested in this, um, I'll sell it to you pretty cheap. It's probably gonna be like thirty-five free shipping. So if somebody's interested in that, hit me up. I know I could sell that to to one of you, one of you in chat. So I'll throw it in the cart for now. Hit me up on Instagram. Instagram is the place to hit me up for something like that. Yep. Just hit me up on Instagram. Let me know you're interested in it. 
and uh, we'll set up a deal after the live. I normally message everybody back while I'm driving home. So appreciate the follow Vikings over on whatnot. Thank you so much. Yes on sweater 60. Okay, we'll pick it up. We got it. It's in the cart. Appreciate everybody helping out. Normally I look these up. Remember, we're professional price taggers here because we're thrifters, right? And normally I look them up on my phone, but I can't obviously do that because I'm live. So sometimes I'm just picking up things and put them in the cart blind. But I appreciate you guys helping me out. What is this made out of? What is this made out of? It's probably polyester. Looks like a women's Orvis anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a polyester. There's a nice Orvis flannel. This one we might scoop. This is a nice Orvis flannel. It's only five bucks. It's just got a nice pattern to it. We'll throw that in the cart. We already got a full cart, people. Don't text and drive. No, my wife. My wife is. Uh, my wife is driving. By the way, my wife is currently live in the women's section. Here's her handle: K the Book Nerd. Go give her a follow. K the Book Nerd. She's currently in the women's section. So, all you ladies in the chat, you're like, hey, I'm tired of looking at all these men's clothing. I want to see some women's clothing. I want to see what this store has to offer in the women's section. Go follow my wife. She's currently live in the women's section. You can hang out. Tell her I sent you. Say that really annoying guy sent me. That K-Way shop guy is really annoying. Is that your husband? You married that guy? What were you thinking? Please explain. Rally Roots. Rally Roots. Rally Roots. What's her at? K the book nerd. I got her pinned right here. She's Her, her at symbol is right on the screen. American Roots. Rally Roots and American Roots. have to work um must be yeah rather be thrifting if you miss any part of this live I'll be, I'll be posting it to my youtube channel so if you have to go to work tell your boss that you want to leave and go thrifting that's what i would do tell him hey this k-way guy's live right now he's thrifting i want to do what he's doing i don't want to be here anymore can i go home see if your boss will let you do that tell him that i said you're allowed to do that there's another orvis flannel same same size just a different pattern really good really good flannels Chopped off your wife's lives. She said you'd have a cart full. She'd be right. She'd be right. We haven't even hit more than half of the men's section, so that's pretty crazy that we already have that bit full of a cart. But shout out to all the peeps that told me to go to the sweater section. We're actually hitting pretty hard in the sweater section. I'm gonna pass on this Vineyard Vines. It does have a embroidery on the front, which will hurt the value a little bit. Um, yeah, flannel still sell. I'm actually still selling flannels. I sold a um, AK Burton jacket yesterday, a full like um, heavy jacket. I sold yesterday for 125, I think, on eBay, or I think it was 125 plus shipping, if I remember correctly. Sold yesterday, so they are still selling. What size is this? Uh, it's a medium. I'm probably gonna pass on this. It's an Orvis. It's got the hit on the front, but it's a medium. It's going to be a little too hard to move fast, and I want to move that pretty quick. Bro missed a raft turtleneck. What color was it? You know, last few times that people told me I missed something, we went back and it wasn't there. Just just throwing that out there. Uh, North Face, 750. We'll scoop this one up. Just a normal North Face jacket. RM Williams, I don't know. You have to look it up. Off the top of my head, I don't know if that's a good one. I am known to miss things, so let me know if I miss something. Um, if you're watching this replay on YouTube and I miss something, leave it in the comment section. I'll shout you out on the next video if I do find um, something that you say I missed. Patagonia, though, no, there wasn't any Patagonia. If there was, I would have I would have picked it up. It's another Orbis. This is just a normal Orbis. I'm not going to pick that up. I'm just going around and tell people to sign the Willow Project Petition and save Alaska. Everybody go sign the Willow Project Petition and save Alaska. Alaska needs saved. And you can make the difference with your signature. You are the difference. Too much money. That'll be marked down eventually. There's another North Face. 
just a North Face thermal. They want $10 for it. I'll probably pick it up and normally move those pretty quick on um, pretty quick on Mercari. Where is this Goodwill? Uh, nowhere because this isn't a Goodwill. It's just called Red, White, and Blue. Red, White, and Blue Thrift. It's a pretty cool little hoodie. Yeah, we don't go to Goodwill anymore. Goodwill has been absolute garbage the last few times. If you check my one of my last YouTube videos, we did go to Goodwill and we didn't find much. And all the prices were extremely, extremely expensive. So, Dragonware. Oh, it has a hit on the front. Is this a good brand? It's made in the USA, Dragonware. It does have an embroidery on the front though. Might be a pass because of that embroidery. They're ridiculous they are. Yep, red, white, blue, Tampa, Florida. That's where I am. If you're around the area and you want to stop in and say hi, feel free to. You can shout you out on the live. You can do like a little dance. You can do, you can do the, um, the tiny diny dance for everybody. I think everybody would enjoy that. Dragonware is a great brand. Okay, it does have an embroidery on the front, but uh, we'll see. Fire resistant. How often do you go to the same store? Once a week come back to the store once a week all right looks like we're coming down to the end of this aisle what's that um oh. what's up yeah oh yeah really no way all right, I have to go over there and say what's up to him. Uh, they just bring out new stuff. I don't know, Wednesday, no, they bring in new stuff every day. You can literally come back every single day and uh, find stuff. I gotta, I gotta say thank you to somebody really quick. All right, I was just told that you are the famous Brandon. Hey, got me the domain name. What's up, man? Yeah. Appreciate you. That's awesome. That was like the one of the best gifts I ever got. Like when oh, I saw absolutely. that, I was like, I was that was so good. Yeah. Go you. ahead. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be here for like another hour. So if you're hanging out, yeah, just true. come stop by, and yeah. I appreciate awesome, it. Man. Thank hey. you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Spider is money. Yeah. Some spider is not all spider is money. All right, sorry, Chad. I just had to go. I had to go thank that guy. So if you go, if you go to right now, if you go to kwayshop.com, you're going to see that um, my eBay store is linked with that um, site. Hold on, let me get through here. So if you go to kwayshop.com, you're going to see that you go right to my eBay store, and that guy actually bought the domain for me and gifted it for me. Dude is awesome. That was like literally, like, I know it's crazy. It's it's not. It doesn't seem that big, but. That is like one of the most like kind gifts I've ever gotten in my entire life. So I had to go up and say thank you to him. So uh, we're gonna um, work together on building the site. I don't even know how to build a website, but I'm assuming he does and um, he's gonna help me out with it. So shout out, shout out to him, shout out Brandon. Brandon, if you're listening to this, I really appreciate you, buddy. That was an awesome gift. Yeah, he, he didn't wanna bother me. It's 35 seconds of conversation. He said that he wants to talk after the live. He didn't wanna bother me on the live, so we'll, uh, even though he could have, I don't, I don't really care, but, um, I'll talk to him after the live. Brandon bought you a domain. He did. He bought me a kwayshop.com. If you go to kwayshop.com, it takes you right to my eBay store right now. It's, it's so useful for me because everybody always asks me what's my eBay store and I can send them to my profile or on my link tree, or now I can just send them to kwayshop.com. So super thoughtful gift. And I really appreciate it. What did Brandon do? He bought me a domain. So basically, he bought me the this, this site, kwayshop.com. He, he hit me up. Um, yeah, I do. if you don't want it, you don't want it? It's too big for him. Okay, cool. Thank you. There we go. 2XL. Johnny was? Nice. Combo? Nice. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Civil Society. Does anybody know this brand? Civil Society? 
No, he, he's not selling it to me. He's literally, he bought it and he's going to gift it to me. He's, he's gifting it to me. He's already uh, said that he's going to send me the password and everything. He's just trying to figure it out. So many nice people. Yeah, that's another one of um, our followers. So she just gifted me. She just threw this to us. This is just a Vineyard Vines. I don't know if I missed this or if it just came out. I must have missed this. Um, $750 for a 2XL linen Vineyard Vine shirt. Really good one. And uh, um, she said that she gifted, she threw Kayla a Johnny Was top that she found. And then an Athleta Alicia Keys collab too. So I appreciate you guys, like all of you. I, like I tell you this all the time, like you guys don't have to be this kind to me. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna make a little landing page for my stores. Yeah, it's, I didn't even know that was possible. Like, I'm not computer savvy at all. So when he told me that he did that for me, just out of the blue, I was like, holy cow, dude, that's amazing. That's crazy. Super nice. I mean, your first sale on Posh yesterday? Let's go, that's awesome. What'd you sell? Let us know in chat. What did you sell? Appreciate everybody hopping in too. If you're not following, hit that follow button top left-hand corner. Notify you when I go live. I do these lives every week. We hang out. We go thrifting. We talk amongst each other. You're telling everybody about this place? No, I'm not regretting anything. <laughs> Why would I? Look at my cart. <laughs> I got so many nice people in this place. Uh, Johnny was coat for $3.92 with tags. Holy cow, lethal babes. Let's go. That's awesome. You're the one that found it in the uh, dumpster, didn't you? Found Johnny, or found a, yeah, found that in the dumpster. All right, we're picking this up. It's a big size too. 2X tall, Tommy Bahama. Look at that pattern. That is money, 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 money. Where you at? I'm at a place called Red, White, and Blue. It's a thrift store. Currently stealing from the poor. No, not really. Everybody says that. It's a joke, people. It's a joke. Past L.L. Bean. I don't pick up um, L.L. Bean, just regular shirts like that. Don't, Drunk Monkey. Drunk Monkey. I've never heard that brand before. You have a video on your photo setup? No, but if you come to my live tonight, I can show you my photo setup. I do lives every night here on TikTok at 9.30. We hang out. I get some listings done. Tonight, we're going to go over the haul tonight on my live, and I'll be live on YouTube as well. Vulturing. We're vulturing, yes. This Tory Richard's still way too expensive. That thing will never move. That's a nice Kahala. That is a really nice Kahala. What are you made out of, though? That is the question. You silk? Are you silk? Nope, you're not silk. You're, you're an imposter. <clears throat> Where do you shop? Right now I'm at a store called red white and blue here's another toy richard this one will be half off next week and we'll scoop it this week that's way too much to pay same with this one this one's 12.50 it is a really nice pattern and the season's coming up this is already half off so we're going to scoop this one up i know that's pretty expensive to pay for toy richard but toy richard is going to start moving like hotcakes here pretty soon so i don't mind paying up a little bit for it it's about the max I'll pay, though. <clears throat> Gas shirts. These are pretty fire shirts. These are fire. If you're not picking up Hawaiian shirts, you should be right now, because in the next month, Hawaiian shirts are going to start moving. It's normally right in the beginning. Shout out to Chris at Peak for this advice, too. Right in the beginning of every season, that's when people buy the most stuff. So right in the right when winter first starts that's when you'll get most of your winter coat sales and then they'll slowly trickle throughout winter but right when uh, it starts getting warm outside that's when you're going to start getting your uh that's when you're going to start getting your um warm weather clothing sales to pop off real heavy columbia no i don't pass i passed on that carhartt too um i haven't had much luck selling carhartt um just shirts they, they normally only go for like 20 bucks and i don't want to spend five to sell something for 20 it's just not worth it so that's why i passed on that carhartt too <clears throat> what's the most you'll pay for tommy bahamas it depends on the pattern i sold a used tommy bahama shirt um about a month ago for 100 bucks so obviously on that one i'll pay up for that one because i can sell it for 100 but it really depends it really depends on the style the pattern all that good stuff 10 bucks i want to pick this up it's a 3XL Harley Davidson. Good size. Uh, it does have a stain on the front. Never mind. If that's half off next week in here, I'll pick it up. But right now, it's too much to spend for a stain. 
Harley Davidson, unfortunately. I don't wanna I don't wanna take the chance in that stain not coming out for ten bucks. Nautica, no, we don't pick up Nautica. We don't pick up George. We don't pick up Izod. We pick up some Ralph Lauren, but this is not enough of a pattern to pick that up. What about Tommy Bahama shorts? Not really, unless they're like super duper cheap, like a dollar or two, because they only go for like 20 to 25. They don't really move too fast. we got in here Harley Davidson um, get some get dirty regardless yeah I know but it's gonna be harder to move when it's got that dirt mark on it it'll still move but it won't sell for as much so I'm gonna leave it behind I'll let somebody else work on it San Cristobal San Cristobal that looks nice Is Duluth a good brand? I pick up three yesterday. Yeah, the heavy flannels do better for me. I normally pick up heavy flannel um, shirts. I don't really pick up the, the normal, like, the shirts like this. I don't normally pick it up. And when you do these lives, uh, what rigging camera do you use? I use, this is my rig right here. See this? See, see how my hand right there, it's got the phone imprint on it because I've been holding it so long? This is my holder. If you want to buy one um they're actually free when you're born you come with two it's pretty crazy <laughs> everybody always asks me that like what are you wearing to hold your phone so steady i'm literally just holding my phone <clears throat> penguin no i don't pick a penguin okay then i'm just messing around it was a joke i, I don't i don't mean to offend you it's just a joke that Land's End upside down shirt is still here. Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirts. They're cotton though. They were silk. I might consider picking those up. They're vintage. Where do you shop right now? I'm at a thrift store. It's called Red, White, and Blue. You miss any part of this live if you're just hopping in i do download these i put these on my youtube channel so you can rewatch them anytime on my youtubes by the way appreciate the um two tacos i must have missed somebody send me some tacos i appreciate it sorry if i sorry if you did that a while ago i'm just now noticing it love the upside down tag yeah it's it's here every week hopefully it stays here that's pretty i, I like seeing that tag every week grab the sand get sand crisp okay how much, how much does it go for? All right, what color was it? I kind of had a feeling when I saw that tag. What rack, there it is right there. I kind of, I kind of had a weird feeling when I saw that tag. It is. You one of the followers? No, you can talk. It's, it's all good. Well, I want to talk to you. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'm going to be in this section for like, Another like hour if you're still here, feel free to come back and right. just a shout out to Leslie. She's watching my daughter's ten brain surgery. Okay. Shout out Leslie? Yeah. Leslie. Is she is she on right now? Yeah. She's watching? Yeah. Shout out Leslie. You're you're your mom? Okay, sh your mom just came up to me. Shout out uh, Leslie in the chat right now. Your mom just came up and wanted to give you a shout out, so that's your mom? Awesome. She's in the chat right now. Central reseller? That's her handle? Okay, cool. Let's go. Awesome. What's up, Leslie? You said you're having a surgery today. I hope everything goes good for you. Here's a Paradise Found. It's a really good print. I might pick this one up. I got to look up comps on this one. That's your mom. That's awesome. Hopefully everything goes good with your uh, surgery today. I don't want to put out your information. I'm not going to tell what kind of surgery. Your mom just kind of went over it, but hopefully everything comes out good. Make it through. Tory Richard. This is a silk Tory Richard, but it's a size small. Appreciate all the love in the chat for Leslie right now. That's awesome. 
<clears throat> you guys ever see me out thrifting feel free even if i'm live come up to me and talk to me i have no problem obviously i don't care talk talking to people doesn't bother me and i don't care if you're on live talking about stuff too so feel free to come up if you want to shout your channel out or anything i don't care it does not bother me so feel free to i always like meeting uh, people out in thrift stores so post a tiktok about it let's go i'll go check it out afterwards leslie let me make sure i'm following you really quick all right i'm following you i'll check out the tiktok after the live you'll be my last my latest follower so it'll be easy for me to find you got this leslie you got it leslie made a video about it so do me a favor everybody's in the chat right now go go to leslie's page show her the love on the new video give it a like share it with some people get the algorithm going on the video shout out leslie appreciate the roses coming in too thank you so much it's like three three people in the in the uh thrift store today that follow me and have come up to me that's pretty cool wait you need to post an update okay sorry 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 so don't don't do it yet my bad i thought you said you posted that. i read that wrong that's my fault i apologize but still go show her some love give her a follow You miss bamboo K? I don't pick up bamboo K. Bamboo K is not a brand that I pick up. All right, let's go through part of this and then I'm gonna go through the, there's a couple new racks over there that I wanna check out. So let's see if uh, there's anything in this first couple polo section right here. By the way, if you guys are following, or if you guys are following me, go follow my wife, Kay the Book Nerd. She's currently live in the women's section so all you ladies in the chat if you're getting tired of watching this all this men's clothing you're like when's the ladies clothing coming my wife is currently thrifting the women's section she does, she does the same thing as me so go check her video out she's live right now oh this one has a nice stain on the front nice stain good morning all this and all that i'm um, chris at peak just raided her nice let's go Awesome. Appreciate you, Chris. If you're in the chat, or you're probably in her chat, but appreciate Chris for the raid. Chris, awesome dude, too. If you guys aren't following Chris, he does live thrifts as well. Post his on YouTube as well. So go check his YouTube channel out. Make sure you're following Chris at Peak. What's her handle? I got it pinned right here. K the Book Nerd. It's right on my screen. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. All right, I'm not seeing any polos. I might go check the new racks here in a second. Once the aisle clears out, there's somebody behind me that's blocking me in a little bit. So once they clear out, Wayne, acknowledge my presence. Tokyo. There's a guy named Tokyo in my chat right now. He, he's really annoying. He takes forever to clean shoes. Um, if you guys want to follow him, he's like, okay. He's like, he's got decent content. It's not like anything too crazy, but um, he's all right. He's an all right dude, I guess. Yeah, Tokyo, I just acknowledged you. You're welcome. Homeless with a newborn needs some help. All right, what you need to do is you need to go to thrift stores like I'm doing. You need to buy some clothes and you resell them online for a profit. Once you get your, once you get your feet underneath you. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, we don't do any donations here on this on this live. I apologize. Thank you, Trisha. <laughs> yeah, Trisha pinned your uh, pinned your comment. Once you get your feet under you, I'm, I'm literally teaching you how to make money easily. So follow some of my content. Um, do you have a video on how you go through your car and check comps? I don't. I do that normally at the end off live. All we're doing is going on eBay and we're looking up comps. That's pretty much what we're doing. So we're just looking up uh, what they're selling for currently. What's your wife on here? K the book nerd. That's her. That's her at K the book nerd. San Crispo 90 on Mercari. Let's go kind of had a feeling about that i just had a i had a weird feeling that's why i held it held my uh, camera on it for a minute oh look at that i gotta i gotta make sure i'm looking at this all right dust is finally getting to me hey tokyo i want to find an american giant hoodie here today can i do that 
Can you like set me up on the American Giant hoodie? I'm trying to get some American Giant. I want to be like Tokyo Thrifts. One day I'll be as cool as Tokyo. Tokyo has the best hair on TikTok, I think. I am manifesting it right now. I'm trying to. I'm trying to manifest. We've already been through the sweater, so this is our last chance to find one. Check whether you can go through your cart. Uh, do you have an estimate? Do you have an estimate on how much I've spent so far? Is that what you're asking? I have no clue. By the way, they this is all inventory that they pulled off the shelves. This is definitely inventory they pulled off the shelves because this is all yellow tag stuff. They must be rearranging stuff. Which might be good for next week. Next week might be a really good week of thrifting here because it looks like they're they're moving some stuff around a little bit. They might be getting rid of some of these sweaters and repricing them so they sell before it gets too hot outside. That's what I'm assuming they're doing. That's an assumption. When you, when you go through the cart, I do that at the end, but I do it off stream because we got to calculate how much we have. This is a um, this is a cash only store. So what we have to do is we have to uh, literally calculate how much we have so we make sure we have enough cash on hand. Otherwise we got to go to the ATM. So that's something we do off stream because we both need our phones to be able to do that. I got to look up comps and then she's got to be pricing everything out that's in my cart. She got to have the calculator out. So, but we do do the lives at the end of the day, 9.30, come back to my live tonight and we go over everything that we picked up on live. 9.30 tonight, make sure, you, uh, make sure you're following, you'll get a notification. And I also do those lives every night at 9.30. Either I'm going over store finds, we're doing giveaways like we did last night, or um, we are listing. So you guys can see all the process that we use in this business uh, on my live, on my live stream. Sorry, I'm not showing the, uh, the thing, by the way. I can't really show it. It's pretty hard to show. Teamwork makes a dream work, 100%. Shut all those follows coming in. I'm not going to check that rack. I think the racks are pretty much looked over by this at this point. <clears throat> we'll go back down through here, though. I forgot where I left off. I guess we'll try to figure out where I left off at some point here. I don't think I did this rack yet. Maybe I did. Yes, I did. I need to go back down here. You didn't get the live notification? That's no worries. You can rewatch this live at any time on YouTube after it's posted. So if you missed any part of this live, it's going to be posted to my YouTube channel after and rewatch the entire thing. Where do you hang out in the store? Are you calculating? Our store is always crowded. Um, the one section that not a lot of people are in, which would be the book section. Shout out my wife. She loves books, but that's where like nobody ever is. Like right now, there's two people over there. That's normally where we hang out. Or there's a there's a spot like right in front of the bathrooms that doesn't have any inventory. We normally go over there too. <clears throat> By the way, appreciate everybody hanging out. If you didn't know, I did um, get approved for Whatnot, and we're going to be selling some stuff on Whatnot, doing reseller boxes. So if you can't find inventory like this in your home state, we are going to be doing give our Whatnot auctions for um, 10 items in every reseller box. So you bid up, the, uh, bid up the box. If you get it cheap enough, you'll be able to resell it for a profit, and they probably won't sell for super expensive prices. So you guys will all be able to make money. Um, we're going to start doing that on Whatnot. I have a Linktree link in my bio. If you click on the Linktree link, It'll take you to Whatnot. You sign up and you get $10 to spend for free. First $10 on Whatnot is free. You got to sign up through my link though. So link tree in my bio. Go check it out. Look at that Nautica. That's pretty crazy. Just sign up for Whatnot. Nice. Make sure you follow me on Whatnot too. As soon as we're ready, we're going to post our first show. And then you can follow the show. And as if, if you're following it, you'll get a notification as soon as we go live on Whatnot. And we'll probably do it on Saturdays at 930. We're going to keep the same schedule except we're going to do it on, on Saturday. So... What store is this? It's called Red, White, and Blue. It's a thrift store. Red, White, and Blue. As you can see, we're we're doing damage right now. We are doing damage. 
I'm gonna check this over for stains, but this is a good Lacoste. It's got a big alligator printed logo on the front. It's a newer age Lacoste and they only want five bucks for it. Size large. We'll scoop that one up. I'm pretty selective on Lacoste and that's one that's that's okay for me to pick up. Uh, do it during the week if, um, if uh, possible. Uh, we're going to do it on Saturday nights because we do our lives every night at 9.30 here on TikTok. And the only night we don't do lives is Saturday. So we're just going to incorporate the whatnot auctions on, on Saturday so it doesn't ruin our current schedule. I really don't want to break what's not broken. So I'm not going to stop doing my um, TikTok lives. I really enjoy them. Um, so I don't really want to lose out on that. So we'll just move it to Saturday. <coughs> I just like K-Way. I do everything. I buy storage. Nice. Yeah, I haven't done the storage auctions yet because we don't have enough space to store that stuff. I know you need a ton of space, so we haven't done that yet, but I think eventually we might, just for fun. Let's do one or two. YOLO. True. Yeah. True. All right, poles are looking absolutely trash today, like a big dumpster fire. Polos are looking garbage. Not even one. Uh, well, I picked up one. I picked up a Lacoste. Speaking of broken, talk to me about Mercari. Yeah, uh, Mercari, excellent site. Uh, I sold two things on Mercari yesterday. I made lots of money yesterday on Mercari. Shout out Tokyo for not bringing up the competition on Mercari. If that guy actually listed there, he might actually sell some stuff. kidding Tokyo I love you and I love your hair that ton of space of trash um, done for 23 years you need advice let me know okay cool appreciate you oh man I might have to stop looking at these uh there's a TJ Maxx I might have to stop with these polos I'm not finding anything let's go to the probably gonna we'll circle back around to the polos We'll go through the long sleeve shirts and then we're gonna go over to the jeans, the uh, the pants and the jeans. Yeah, I give up, I give up. We don't need polos right now anyway. I got enough to list. That's the only place you sell, see? See Tokyo, that's the only place some of these people in chat sell. Currently, if they're making money and they're selling stuff and they only sell on Mercari, that means Mercari actually you can make sales there. I know Tokyo, you just can't do it. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. And I can barely list on eBay, let alone four other platforms. Well, if you download my link in my bio, list perfectly. You get 30% off the first month, Tokyo, and you can cross-list each of your items and it'll take you literally a minute and a half to cross-list to four other platforms. So while you're, instead of cleaning your shoes for, you know, eight hours, you could cross-list all of your inventory to all those other platforms. Linktree link in my bio. Use code KWAYSHOP, you get 30% off your first month. End ad. Thanks, Tokyo, for setting me up. My package should be there by 7 p.m. from UPS. Let's go. I'm going to get some buried treasure sap. Uh, not sap, syrup. Sorry, syrup. Not sap. If I got sap, it would be the. It would be before the syrup. I'm getting syrup. I'll show it on live tonight. It should be here before I go live. It's Tokyo, that's why. Yeah, you're right. It is Tokyo, that's why. I only sold my mountain hardware jacket last night. Nice. Let's go. Mountain hardware has been moving. I've sold a couple mountain hardware pieces in the last month too mountain hardware that's an old school ll bean but it's not not good enough to pick up unfortunately i need something to drink i'm freaking thirsty we were in a rush this morning because we had to drop one of my kiddos off and uh i didn't even get a chance to eat or drink so i'm gonna pick out wherever we're going for lunch i'm hungry uh, you have to open it on live. Okay, what is there, like a gag gift in there? Is it going to, like, explode? It's like one of those boxes you leave on somebody's front porch, and if somebody steals it, it, like, goes off like a glitter bomb. Is that what you're trying to do, Barry? I'm not trusting you right now. But I'll open it on live. It'll be good entertainment if it just explodes in my face. That's what she said. Never mind. That's a bad joke. Shouldn't say that on TikTok. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm going to be banned. Sorry, chat. If I get banned in five minutes, you already know why. <laughs> I'm not picking up the Banana Republic, no. I'm not snagging it. Michael Scott, yep. Call me Michael Scott. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
God. It's the best when you, that's what she said, your own joke. Like, that's like, that's like ultimate funny. <laughs> there he goes again. It's too early. I know. Well, I have been awake for three hours, so it's like midday for me. I'm good. I'm, I'm ready to go. I never wake up. Normally, I'm waking up at this time. Shout out to being your own boss. You can wake up at 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> oh, what did user say? User. What did user say? Hold on. Thrift stores are for people in need to clothe their families economically, not for you to profit for real. Well, user, we've already been through this entire aisle. I love doing this, by the way. We've already been through this entire aisle. You see all these shirts? I've already been through here. All these shirts I've already been through. See that? All those shirts I've been through. You don't think there's enough for everybody? User. You're one of my favorite people in these lives. I love you guys. Boosting my boosting me in the algorithm. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, we do this every live. Somebody said LMFAO, here we go again. We do this at least once every live. It's it's probably my favorite thing to do is make these people look like complete fools in front of 522 people. Well, 521, because one of them is the fool. <clears throat> it's probably my favorite thing to do. And this is only one store, exactly. This is only one store out of all the stores in the entire America, entire of Americas. Just imagine how much stuff gets thrown away every day. I have a video about this. It starts off like, um, well, what, what, what was her name? Well, Summer, Summer, what was her name? God, I forgot her name. It's like Summer and then a planet. And I told her she's wrong right in the beginning of the videos. My favorite video I made, by the way. <clears throat> so much trash every day. Exactly. Tons. Literally, literally tons at like every Goodwill bins gets trashed every day. Literally tons. Donald. Do somebody pin Donald. Donald's here, everybody. He always makes an appearance. One of my mods. Can you pin Donald? Donnie, what's up, buddy? Appreciate you hopping in. And all the Americas. Yeah, you like that? And right when I said America... Our favorite guy pops in. Hold on. I'm going to pin him. The mods are a little slow. There he is. Donald. What's up, buddy? How you doing? How's everything been going for you? Hopefully life is treating you good. No, she's back. She's back, Donald. I know she's kind of like you. She got she got kicked off TikTok. Or she got, yeah, she got kicked off TikTok. You got kicked off Twitter. You guys are like cousins, basically. It's an XL. I'm going to leave that behind. I am fired up today. I'm, I'm like a rare mood today. I'm in a rare mood and I like it. It's, it. I'm fired up because of last night's live. Last night's live was so awesome. We sold out Trisha's hangers in literally a minute. I think we sold them out under a minute. Next time we need to get a, we need to get a timer. But we sold out Trisha's hangers in a minute. We did an awesome giveaway. Um, both giveaway winners have claimed their prizes. I got to ship out the Kuji sweater as soon as I get home. But the uh, the massive reseller box is going to Juan at Retired and Reselling. That's being given. Uh, that's being shipped out today. Hopefully the Kuji sweater goes out today too. I'm gonna try to get it out when we get back home ASAP. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just pumped up. Uh, the community's been amazing. The support's been amazing. I really appreciate everybody for all the support. Um, do I pick up this Nike? Do I pick up this Nike 3XL? Did it have a stain on it? Do I pick up this Nike 3XL? It's only four bucks. There's nothing crazy about it though. Eh, probably gonna leave it. Cancel the Kuji, give it to me? No way. No way. <clears throat> what are we looking for? We're looking for brands with good resale value. You really get people saying you take from people, that's crazy. Yeah, they, they do it all the time. Like literally, you can go to most of my videos. Well, not most, I don't really get it too much anymore, but my beginning videos, like almost every video I had some kind of person come on and tell me I'm stealing from the poor which is always fun because if you ever go to those videos I like to go back and forth with those people it's like one of my favorite things to do untuck it polo the polos I don't really pick up the untuck it shirts I'll pick up polos are not as good as the, uh, the shirts the long sleeves I meant because a polo is a shirt I made a video using your wrap fold um, stuff technique to fit a jacket and clear bag. Let's go. Wrap stuff and fold. I'm going to patent that. Another Vineyard Vines 
15 bucks. That'll be half off next week. I'll probably pick it up next week. But this week, it's a little too expensive. If I was um, if I was a man, I would stop at a thrift store and dress shirt so many. Oh, yeah. There's, there's so many. Hey, look at that. We got another suit supply shirt. I love picking these up. Ooh, we got two back to back. Let's go. These are half off. These are only going to be four bucks. That is a steal of a steal right there. Steal of a steal. Suit Supply is one of, I know it sounds crazy. It's one of my favorite brands to sell. They sell super fast and for good money. Mm, that has a little bit of marking on the front. We're going to leave it. It's a good size though. Untuck it, 100% fine Marona wool. How much would you price that? Donald, I would probably price that at around 35 to 40 doll hairs. I wish I could do a Donald Trump impersonation. I really, that's like one I can't do. Um, I wish I was, I should probably practice that. Every time you come in, Donald, I'll impress you with my Donald Trump impersonation. But yeah, that's why I would price it up. Suit supply, yep, suit supply. Appreciate everybody hopping. Whoever just subscribed, by the way, I appreciate you. I missed a subscriber. I am really bad at this. I need to, uh, I need to work on my live live hosting skills but i appreciate the sub whoever subbed he passed dior dior is i know this sounds crazy but basic dior shirts don't sell and i'm proving that right now because i listed a basic dior shirt in my in my uh, ebay store like two weeks ago and guess what it's still sitting there at 35 dollars. so i don't pick up dior china <laughs> oh, i should say that on damn it i should not say that on tiktok stop it chat chat you're gonna get me in trouble china Ah, oh, chat. You're bad. You're bad today, chat. Donald, look what happened. You came in the chat, and now I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get banned off TikTok. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys are funny. People rewatching this on YouTube are like, "What the heck is going on in that chat right now? What is going on?" You shouldn't say that. Instantly says it again. I know. I'm like a little kid. I can't help myself. <laughs> Oh, man. I can't help myself. <laughs> pants are boring. Yes, pants are boring, but you can make a lot of money in the pants section. That's actually the first section my wife goes to whenever she goes thrifting. Um, you can make a ton of money in the pants because a lot of people have the same mindset. They're like, ah, this is too boring. I'm going to skip over it. And uh, you're leaving good easy money behind really easy money so that's why i love pants but i do go this to the section near the end of the live thrift so but i make sure i hit every single section when i'm at the thrifting and i make sure i go through pretty much every item i'm scoping through seeing if i can find anything hopefully we find something here really soon and i can show you like how profitable pants can be pants and jeans because they do have some jeans in here as well yeah most people don't take the time to go through this section what is this What in the world are these? They look like Rock Revivals. I thought those were the Rock Revivals we left here. If you watch my live from last week, it's up on YouTube. You'll see that there was a pair of Rock Revival jeans in this section, but it looks like somebody came through and they were willing to pay the $50 for them. I was hoping they were going to be here this week, but they're not. My first sale was pants. See? Pants are underrated. Underrated. See? Boom. Look at this. Mountain hardware, khaki pants for $4. All day, every day. And they come with a little belt thing on them too. Right there. This is like, this is minimum $35 seller. And it'll sell really fast. So there we go. We're off to the races, people. Let's see what else we can find. It would be really lovely if I could find those rock revivals just hidden in here somewhere. Somebody probably picked them up and moved them and came back and picked um bottom today <clears throat> Kayla's just finishing pants well she needs to hurry the heck up here we go right here graduate AG $7.50 this does have a little wear right there though I wonder if that's no that's not the design I think I, that'll come out AG for $7.50 I think last week there was quite a few pairs of AG hanging out here so we'll see see if we can find some more but no boats I don't pick up 
<clears throat> and that's the K-Way. If she's still in the women's section, I'll, I'll thrift the women's section too. So I'll just go to the section of the store that she hasn't hit and we'll go through the women's items. We'll do it, uh, we'll do it on live. L.O. Bean Signature Pants. I wonder if I leave these here for next week. Uh, they're a women, no, they're not. They're, they're a men's size. I'm gonna leave them here for next week. If they're still here, I'll pick those up. Signature L.O. Bean stuff's gonna sell a little bit faster. All right, what brand are you? Oh, this is Orvis, 650. No, thanks. Was a good color. What's up, Juan? Juan is our winner from last night. Juan at Retired and Reselling. He's in the chat. His box has been shipped off. There's another pair. His box has been shipped off. It's on the way. It's on my front porch. Ready to go. You ever find Jinko or pick up Jinko? Yes, I do. I've, I've I found it once before, I believe. It was a long time ago. Jinko is one of those brands that is a. Uh, Undercover, super hard to find. We're gonna pick these up next week. They're twelve ninety nine. I'm not paying twelve ninety nine for Carhartts. I'll pay six fifty for them though. But yeah, if I find Jinko, I'll pick it up. Haven't found it in a while though. Maybe you just gave me some good luck. I'm passing on these five elevens. I think they're all women's. Oh come on, not this again. Not this again. All right, chat. Hold on. We gotta flip you around. Oh, not this again, chat. Always the pants section, every time. It's always the pants. Vintage cotton, all money, there you go. Panjinko not knowing they're valuable, just nostalgic, nice. Not this again, chat. Five best pants brands, pants brands to look for. I don't have a five best brands, but I do have an eBay store. Linked in my bio, go check out the eBay store. You can see what I currently have for sale as far as pants go. And that's an easy way to tell the brands that I picked up. Jerbo, Jerbo is an excellent brand to pick up as well. Um, I sold a pair of Jerbo jeans last week, but the person never paid for them, so they're still for sale. I had to relist them. Um, kind of salvage jeans. Yes, salvage denim is really good. The way you check for salvage denim is you flip them over and on the bottom, um, they'll have the, uh, I think it's an orange like stitch usually that shows there's our red stitch that shows it's salvage um, i don't really come across too many salvage denim here's a pair of north face pants there it is right there north face um 14.99 real quick these are older pants too these are an older style but one thing i'm questioning about these pants oh no they're there right there it's older style because it has a hit right there i was looking for the north face logo I was gonna say those look kind of fake, but because it has a logo right there, we're good. Somebody's playing some music. Somebody's jamming out. Why'd you turn this around? Um, wait strike for that record. Um, I turned you around because uh, I dropped some pants on the ground. Do you remember last week? I kept dropping them on the ground. I kept having to pick them up, but it's always good luck to pick up all your pants that you drop. Do you ever check suit jackets? I'm really bad at suit jackets, so no, I don't normally check suit jackets. By the way, if you guys are hanging out, you're re-watching on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed. If you're hanging out on TikTok right now, make sure you follow. I do these lives every single week. I come to thrift stores, I buy stuff cheap, resell it online. I take you guys with me for the journey, so make sure you're following. You'll get a notification as soon as I go live. Um, also, um, my wife is currently live in the women's section, so go check her out. Kay the Book Nerd, I got her pinned right on the top of the page right here. Hey, the book nerd, go give her a follow. She's in the women's section. So all you ladies that don't want to hang out in the men's section anymore, if you think pants are boring, go check out my wife's live. She's currently live in the women's section. Somebody's rocking out. Holy cow, somebody's really rocking out. <clears throat> Orvis, no, I don't pick up Orvis pants. I pick up Orvis jackets, but not the pants. What are you? Tumit? 
Is Tumit a good brand? I've never seen this brand before. Tumit. Let's open her up. It doesn't have a brand tag on the inside. It can't be that good if it doesn't have a brand tag, right? Tumit. T-O-O-M-E-T. Tumit. Never heard of it. TikTok says, great job. You've been live for 90 minutes. Don't forget to take a break. TikTok, I can't take a break. If I take a break, then everybody's going to steal all the good stuff. Can't go take a break right now, TikTok. Later, okay? I promise. Where are you? I'm at a store called Red, White, and Blue. It's a thrift store. Almost up to our sub goal of 165. Holy cow. Holy cow. What is this? Is this outdoor research? No way. It says OR on it. What? It doesn't look like an outdoor research piece. It says OR. That's a, isn't that the OR for outdoor research? Maybe I'm just tripping. I might be tripping on this one. Um, doesn't have a logo on it anywhere. Uh, waterproof. Outdoor research doesn't make these pieces. It says OR Night Vision. I have no clue what this brand is. It doesn't have a brand tag anywhere on it. How can you guys thrift? Uh, we normally go... Um, at least once a week. We're actually going three times this week. Um, I will this afternoon bring up there. Check pockets. I already I checked the inside. Normally the brand lo logo would be on the inside, not in the pockets. But um, I don't know. I've never seen that brand before. It looks like OR for outdoor research, but I don't think they make motorcycle jackets. So. I don't think they make motorcycle jackets. <laughs> you like that? I get that all the time. Oh yeah. Yep. All the time. I, I love getting that. I love getting that because I just show the whole store. And I love your answer back though. Yep. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody likes my answer for the for the people that say I'm stealing from the poor. Um, how much did it cost, the jacket? Um, they want $24.99, it's 25 bucks. So I don't know, I've never seen that brand before. Um, so I'm gonna leave it. I don't really do good with motorcycle jackets anyway. They're kind of a niche item. Some can sell for good money, like Harley jackets, but I tend to hang on to them for a little too long. All right, let's see if we can find anything in the pants section. Pass. Okay, cool. We passed. Cherokee. Ooh, I know these are good. Peter Manning. They are six bucks, but I actually found a pair of jeans in this brand last week, and these go for like 45 bucks. I looked up comps, so those will go on the cart. Peter Manning. You guys didn't know that brand. That's a new one for everybody in chat. Be on the lookout for those. Peter Manning's. I haven't sold it yet. I don't have any. I don't think I have any action on it yet because I just listed it. But uh, I tend to do pretty good. So much value created for society. 100%. This is a side hustle. You can turn it into your main hustle. You can definitely build this into something crazy big. Oh, oh man. Bless me. Another pair of 511 Tacticals. I'll probably pick them up next week when they're half off. Do you wash the stuff you store for selling? Serious question. No, that's a really good question. I don't wash items and let they have stains or bad smells. Reason being is most of these items, um, just imagine, um, everybody in chat. Most of the time when you donate clothing to thrift stores, you're donating your from your clean closet. That's where most of these items come from is clean closets. So actually, I'm going to hang this back up. Remember, it's bad luck if you don't hang things back up. So most of the stuff you donate is donated from your clean closet and not your dirty laundry. And this store really handpicks their items. They make sure like all the stuff that's on the rack is really, really good condition. So 
I really don't even have to check it most of the time for stains because I know it's going to be in good condition. But yeah. Um, hey, look at their pants um, as they're always half off. Yeah, pants are hard, but like I said before, pants are like one of the most underrated sections in the thrift store. Um, we've already found North Face. We found um, Mount Hardware pants. We found those Peter Manning pants just now. But it, so I find like really good brands, like pants that'll sell for like 35 to 45 bucks all the time. And I'm paying like, you know, five bucks for them. So I'll, I'll go through pants every day of the week. It's actually one of my favorite sections to go through. And I usually leave it for last because a lot of people have the same mindset. They're like, I hate pants. I'm not even gonna look through them. And then I look through them and I find a bunch of stuff. So if there's every heavy competition in all the aisles, there's normally never any competition in the pants section in the jeans section. Well, jeans do, but the pants, not so much. If you only sell on eBay, I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace. Somebody asked about the bins. I don't go to the bins. My sister goes to the bins. So her channel is Sunrise Listings. She goes to the bins and she, she, she shows you guys what she picks up from the bins. So if you're interested, go give her a follow, Sunrise Listings. You can also give my wife a follow. Her channel is Kay the Book Nerd. I got it pinned right here to the top of the profile. Give her a, pro, uh, a follow too. Pick up these AG Everett jeans, really good, or Everett pants, really good brand to be on the lookout for. Really, really good brand. <laughs> you buy furniture? No, I don't buy furniture. I only have so much space. The one thing about pants I hate though, is they're very dusty. So I always sneeze a lot when I'm going through the pants. Probably because they sit here and nobody picks them up, so just get super dusty. O-C-H. That is a C-L-H jeans. C-L-H, C-M-K, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. What is this, M-K? Oh, Mountain Khakis. These are good. Mountain Khakis don't go for what they used to go for, but I believe Mountain Khakis are still a pickup. These are corduroys too. They want eight bucks for them. But I think mountain khakis are a pickup, right? Somebody in chat can tell me. I'll put them back on the shelf for now, but I think mountain khakis are a scoop in most cases. Yes, pants are bolo, mountain khakis. Yes, okay, we're going to pick those up. I, I thought I saw Wagon make a video on those recently and say people are... No, he was in his live the other night. said people are listing those pretty low. But those are corduroys, so those are a little bit better than your average mountain khakis. So... Just sold mountain khakis for 35. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm gonna also pick up the other AGs because there was a ton of AGs here last week, but I'm not seeing them. What stadium in Florida? Did you say Everett pants? No, they're Adriano Goldschmied. Everett is the style. EV. E R T T Everett 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 Sounds like you're playing uh, you're a disc jockey Everett Everett Another pair of car hearts they want $14.99 for these we'll leave them here for next week and then we'll scoop them up Car hearts are way too expensive at that price I wish the store was close to me because I would come the night before and I would put everything that I'm interested in one aisle and I just go scoop it all up next day First thing in the morning, I just run right to that aisle. Are these what I think they are? And they're only $24.99? Are you joking? Are you joking? And they're half off? And we're gonna scoop? These are a pair of Lulu Lemons. You know they're Lulus because of that. And because of that, they want $24.99 for them. They are solid black. I believe these are the ABC pant. Um, these go for like 60 bucks, so I get 50 to 60 for these all the time. So I will pay up for those. I have no problem paying that price for those. The store does know their brand, so they do know Lululemon. They tend to price it up often. Um, there's another button like that, but I don't think these are Lulus. Actually, I don't know if they are. I don't think they are. No, they're not Lulus. Are they? Oh no, they're Snake Eyes. They get me every week. Snake eyes. 89 new, yep. You can get uh, pretty close to new prices for those Lululemon, especially in men's sizes. They sell very, very well. Women's sizes? No, I'd pass on 
but in men's sizes I pick up all the time. I actually just paid for a pair for $25 at Plato's Closet too. Hey, which plan do you recommend with List Perfectly? I use the most expensive plan because I cross list a lot, but List Perfectly has a pretty good breakdown of what you get with each plan. So make sure you're checking out that and see what plan works best for your business. Without knowing how much you sell and how much you list, it's really hard for me to curate which plan will work good for you. But um, I use the most expensive plan because I cross list a ton every month. I'm literally cross listing like 400 items every month. So um, that's why I needed the most expensive plan, but pick the plan that works best for you. You can always upgrade or downgrade at any time if you buy the monthly plans. So, um, and then it, of course you get 30% off your first month. So where do you store all your inventory? I store it out in my garage. Um, if you catch some of my older videos or you go to my YouTube channel, you can catch out some of those videos. I do um, show my garage. I'm also planning on doing a video um, where I pull inventory on, on Monday, Monday. So you guys will be able to see everything I pull. Let's go through some of these jackets really quick. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is why we just browse through the section every now and then. This is a Brooks Brothers. It's a full trench coat Brooks Brothers. I think these are good. I'm pretty sure. Um, Brooks Brothers trench coat. We'll throw that in there. There's an L.L. Bean. Made in Italy. What are you? I guess we will go through the jackets because we are we already hit pretty good. What's up, Mary? Appreciate the tacos. 500? I don't know if it's 500, but it is a good one. How far is the store for you? Um, it takes us about 45 minutes to drive to it every day that we come here. 45 minutes. We don't come here every day, though. Shouldn't have said it that way. Thomas. How often do you ship? I ship daily. So everything that's purchased yesterday has already been shipped this morning. Here's a J. Crew. It's a wool blend. I'm not going to go through all these suits. Now I'm going to skim a little bit. I'm looking for the wool ones. You can normally tell a wool suit just by looking at the, the feel. You can see it's like a little, little hairier than the normal suits. What is this? Dockers. Harris Tweed, um, Scottish Wool. There's no brand though. Harris Tweed, Scottish Wool. I know some of these blazers can be worth big money. One day I need to come here and I need to just look through all these blazers and look up each one. There's a Brooks Brothers. Shout out Chris at Peak. You'd be happy about this one. It's a Brooks Brothers. It is wool. It's got this crazy pattern to it. I don't know about this pattern though. What do you guys think? Brooks Brothers. It's only four bucks. Um, it is 100% wool. It's a good find. Should I do this? Should I pay it four dollars for it? Yes. Okay. I guess we'll do it. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Why not? What size is it? You guys are going to make me start buying suits now. Look at you. What size is it? It is a... Get this tag out. Is it a 46? Yeah, it's a reg, uh, reg 46 reg. So, 46 reg. I sell all suits and blazers? Okay. Maybe, maybe we do. If everybody's getting so excited about that suit, I guess we should go through all, all this. 46 reg is good? Okay. I feel like Chris at peak now. You can call me Wayne at peak. I've peaked everybody. I've now moved on to suits. 
Now I'm hyped up. I actually want to go through. See, there's another one right there. Brooks Brothers. This one is $7.99. This one doesn't look like it's made with anything special, though. Never mind. It's a silk linen blend. Silk linen blend? What do you guys think about this one? Silk linen blend. It is a size... Where's the size on this one? Oh, it's right there. Yes. It's a 44 long. Yes. Okay. Screw it. We're turning into suit sellers now. Eight bucks. Not a bad price for, for a suit. So let me tag Chris in this video. I need him here. I need his, I need his assistance on these suits. Brooks Brothers is a thumbs up. Okay. I know he said he picks up some Hugo Boss too. There's a Lauren Ralph Lauren, Joseph A. Bank, um, Rally Washington, Stafford. Um, I think he's in Kayla's live. Okay, tell him to get the hell over here. Tell him to get out of that woman's live. We're just kidding. He can hang out there too. Hallbrook. I don't know any of the, like, the major soup bolos though, so you guys will have to chat it up in the chat. Let me know what the major soup bolos are. I am unsure. One. Never Joseph A. Bank? Okay, never Joseph A. Bank. Barney's New York. Loren, Ralph Loren. Zegna. Okay, Zegna is one we're looking for. Mm, WB Shun. WB Shun. This looks like a quality piece. WB Shun. It's like a jacket. I vote Scottish Tweeds. Barney's is super good? Okay. I think I passed the Barney's, didn't I? Maybe I'm thinking of things. Oh, this has cashmere in it. Um, Massimo, I don't think it's good. Or Massimo, or whatever the hell that brand is. Joseph A's. I did pass up with Barney's. Okay, we're going to go back anyway because I got to go through all those suits. Well, oh, there's a Barney suit somewhere around here. I thought I saw one. Duty is good. Is that one good? This is a good one. Oh, no, that's not the one. Where is it? There's a super nice feel to it. Chaps. Oh, well, at least I can't find it again. It's right here. It's got to be somewhere around here. Is it this one? No, that's the Ren, the Ren Ralph Lauren. Wait, Massimo Duty is good? Damn. Where did I just... I swear it was just right here. Where the hell did I... What did I do with it? not that one. Oh, that one right there so this is good it is $14.99 though it's 15 bucks but it is a cashmere it's an extra fine wool and cashmere you guys think so what size is it it's a size 40. It's a lower size, size 40. Maybe it's a pass because it's a 40. Massimo is greater than Massimo. Okay. Nice fabrics, out of style. It's a, it's a small size. I think it's a pass because it's a small size, right? You never pass up cashmere? Is that true? It's a fine jacket, too small. Yeah, it does seem too small. Somebody look up comps on eBay for me really quick and comp them out and see what it's going for. Hard pass, too small. Okay, we're passing. <laughs> I don't want to get too crazy with the suits because I got to see how well they sell. I don't want to be stuck with a million and one suits in my in my inventory. Buy it, too small. People are saying buy it. People are saying too small. I think I'm going to pass, chat. I'm sorry for everybody who's saying pick it up. Uh, all right, let's see. One thing I hate about suits is they take forever. This one's 100% silk. Loren, Ralph Loren. I don't know if that's good. Beige is a tough color. Okay. Fun fact, I think I've only worn a suit like one time in my life. It's a Nordstrom. K-Way's not built for suits. You can always auction on whatnot. I don't think whatnot's a great platform for suits, to be honest. I don't think I'll, I'll be able to sell 
That's a Joseph A. That's a Joseph A. I think blue's a good color, right? Everybody likes a good blue suit. There we go. Brooks Brothers. Appreciate the chills. Where is the tag that says what it's made out of? This one is a... Doesn't have the size on here. Look at this. Doesn't have the size. It's a blue. It's a navy blue. And it has, a, it has damage right there. I'm going to pass on this one either way. Get the Massimo. Everybody's telling me to pick up the Massimo. Do I pick up the Massimo or no? Or Mas, Massimo or whatever the hell you call it. These are all Joseph A's. Do I pick it up? Can't go wrong with black, blue, or gray. Yep. Stanley Becker. I feel like such a newbie in this section. <laughs> you guys are like, pick it up. It's great. People are saying no to the Massimo, and then other people are saying yes. Hmm. It is getting into that wedding season, too, so I think these suits would probably move pretty well. Massimo's too small. Yeah, I think it's too small. Where's Chris at peak? You banned him? No, he's in, he's in Kayla's life. Hickey Freeman. Good thing about suits is they always keep them really low price, so... I never look at suits and learn something new today. And neither do I. Peter Manning. Okay, I know this is good. I know the suit's good. Somebody look up Peter Manning suits. Let me know what they sell for. I found the jeans the other day and it sold. They look like really good comps. Paisley spring buttons are coming up. Yeah. I don't think they have any like crazy pattern ones here. Land's End. Nope. Nice, Massimo on eBay, 69 to 70. Jeez. Do I pick it up? That's the question. I might just pick it up just for, you know, shits and gigs. You had one and you left it. Do I have one what? It's at $800? Holy cow. Okay, I might pick that one up then. We might just give it a try. It is a lower size. It's size 40, but... Hugo Boss. Sometimes you find the matching pants and suits in section. Yeah. We already went through the um, pants. The pants um, weren't there. We already been through all the navy blue pants. Land's End. Sorry, Chad. I know this view is horrible, but this is what you get for making me go through suits. You got me all hyped up now. No brand on that one. What brands are you looking for? Top three? Oh, boy. Yo, I'm so glad we went through suits. Holy shit. Talking mushrooms. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, chat, for telling me to go through suits. I really appreciate all of you in the chat. You guys are amazing people. I love each and every one of you equally. None more than others. You guys are amazing. Now I'm really hyped up to go through suits. Holy freaking cannoli bars. That is insane. We just we just hit a canali suit. I don't even care what size it is. It's a canali suit. Canali suits are the one things. Armani? Is Armani Calazzoni good? I don't know about this one. Canali suit jacket. Insane. Is this good? Holy doll hairs, Batman. Is this a good brand? I know the, uh, the Armani like pants and stuff don't sell well. This doesn't even have a... Where's the size tag on this? Oh, there it is. It's on this side. Suit jackets sell very well. I think you guys just made me find my, my newest favorite thing to look for. Um, this is a size 48. Um, I'm trying to see what it's... It's 100% virgin wool. Armani is good. Okay, and they only want... They want 15 bucks for it. I don't know if 15 is too high. I might leave it for next week. It's 
15 too high to pay? If I can sell it for 60 plus, I don't really care. I'm gonna charge shipping on all these. This is one of the one of the items in my store that I will be charging shipping on. Sell for around 80, okay, good. We'll pick that up. Holy cow. We found a uh, we found a canali in the jacket section. That might be a TikTok. You might have just saw a TikTok in the making. Now we just need to find like a Peter Millar and my day will be set. I'll retire. Yellow tag is 75% off. Yeah, this is a this is a blue tag. Christian Dior. Is Christian Dior suit jackets good? Is Christian Dior suit jackets good? How much is the Canali? Canali's only seven bucks. How about Christian Dior suit jackets? I know the shirts aren't the best, but I'm assuming the suit jackets are pretty good. Dior. I'm still loving that Scottish tweet you saw in the beginning. Yeah, we're gonna go back to all the ones in the beginning. We're gonna go through them again. You're thrifting in the Yeezys? I am thrifting in the Yeezys. We got the belugas on. I wish I could turn on my uh, my flash when I was going through because you guys can see they get this is the one of the uh, this is one of the uh, reflective. There's a Hugo Boss it's brand new with tags, but they want too much for it. 30-ish pinstripe cells. I'll look up comps. I'm looking up comps on all these afterwards, just to be sure. But he might be uh, K Way might be the new suit guy. Oh my God, you're joking me. For three dollars, you're fucking. You're joking. It does have a? I think that'll come off. You're joking me. What is happening right now? What is, what is happening right now? Martin Gordon? What is, what is happening? What is going, chat, what the hell, what is going on? Chat, what is going on right now? For three dollars, what is going on right now? Chat, stop it. Stop it, chat. Stop, this is, chat, stop it. This is, chat, this is insane. What is what is going on? Is Gant suits good? I know some Gant shirts can do good. Are Gant suits good? What is going on right now? What is going on right now? There's 30 bucks for this, but what the fuck is going on right now? Versace suit. Versace suit for 30 bucks. Tell me, is this too much? Is this too much to pay for a Versace suit? Is that too much? Oh my. I don't want to stop. What is. What is going on? I'm confused. I'm. Oh. It is, it's in my arm, don't worry. You wanna see? This is how you thrift, this is pro thrift tip. If you don't, if you don't wanna put it in your cart, you just hold your hand like this, and I'm holding the phone at the same time. So Versace's 30 bucks, I'll probably still pick it up for that price. But chat, like, did I not say, uh, maybe we'll find a Peter Millar and that'll make my day? And then we just like, we found a Peter Millar. Like, what is going on? Oh my God. Look at that cart. <laughs> oh my God, the checkout people are gonna, and we found Lionel trains too. Like, what is going on? What is this? What is this? You found two, right? You found two. I know. That's, what is, I can't talk anymore. We're just gonna take a moment of silence for what just happened here at the uh, Red, White, and Blue Thrift. Everybody, please uh, take some time to just say thank you to the thrift gods that just that just happened um that was pretty insane i don't know if we're going to be able to do that anymore um i'm pretty sure this thrift store is tapped out at this point all the good stuff has been found please don't 
um, end up at the red, white, and blue in Tampa. I have already got everything here. Oh my goodness. Just take a moment of silence, everybody. All right, moment of silence, ready? All right, thank you for uh, paying that moment of silence for the uh, what just happened here at Red, White, and Blue. We just killed the entire suit section. Where's Chris at peak when you need him? Chris, where the heck are you, buddy? I feel like Chris deserves all the credit. Successful day, 100%. Hey, and you guys in chat right now, you guys are the ones that are seeing all this happen, so I appreciate all you for being here. You saw it here first. You saw it here first. Just imagine, I should... This is when I wish I had another camera and I could film this for YouTube. Like, just imagine that on YouTube right now. Oh my gosh, it would it would pop off. It would absolutely go bananas. This is amazing. This is this is what thrifting's about. You get days like this, and it's just like, yo, this is like, oh man, that's insane. Brad, just look at those high dollar suits I just absolutely stole from the poor. Just kidding. Chat, don't go off on me, please. All right, there's got to be some more Peter Millars in here. I just, these all have matching suit pants to go with, and that's Joseph A. Banks. Mazion, Mazonis, Mazonis. Ralph Lauren silk jacket. Is it good? The, the one in the beginning? I can find that one easily. It's right in the beginning. I'll grab it. Jack Victor. All right, I became a suit guy here just at this store. You guys just saw K-Way evolve into a suit man. I just evolved. 46R Brooks Brothers. I don't even have, do I even need to look what this is made out of? This is a wool Lyrex spandex blend. This one, is this one good? 46, it's, it's a wool blend, but it does come with the pants. They want, um, they want $10 for the set. $10 for the set. Somebody said, get the Victor, J Jack Victor. What color was that, damn it? Man. 46R. 346, yeah, 346, no question, absolutely. Set, it's a set. Oh my gosh. No, I'm pumped. Finally, I know. We just, we just went through a lot of jackets to find that. Brooks Brothers. I'm not going to go back and get the Jack one. I'll get the Jack one next week. If somebody else wants it, you can have it at this point. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with all these suit jackets. I've never listed a suit jacket before, so this should be interesting. Ratner specifically in red. Okay, Ratner in red. I appreciate everybody helping me out in the chat, too. You guys are amazing. Look at this. Nobody can come down this aisle. You see what I do? I just block the entire aisle. Say, screw, screw you guys. You guys can't come down my aisle. Uh, what brand was the uh, tweed with elbow patches? I'll go back. It's at the beginning. We're going to go through the whole beginning of this aisle, too. You guys have turned uh, Mr. K-Way into, uh, into a suit guy now. So we're going to go through everything. There's a there's a Peter Millar suit in there. There's a Canali suit in there. Like I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I guess so. I mean... This is the first time it's a Lionel train set it's for like eight bucks or ten bucks. It was sitting right over here when I first walked in. Ethan at the college reseller. Say hi, Ethan. He's going to check out the shoes. He'll, yeah, he'll come back around. He'll show us all the shoes that he picks up. That's one reason I don't hit the shoes here is because uh, that's where Ethan makes all of his money. So I don't like taking from good old Ethan. Uh, Ethan and uh, Ethan, me and my uh, my wife and I all went out to uh, lunch last week. Yeah, this is my aisle. It is my aisle. I've I've named it as my aisle. <laughs> I might come to suits next week. I might first thing I might hit next week might be the suits. For what just happened in this aisle, like what is going on? What is going on? Is this just like did somebody just have a ton of this is a set too. And this is only 5 bucks. Um, this one is 100% wool, and I can't see the size though. I'll just look up the size after. I'm pretty sure that this is a pickup. Five bucks, 100% wool set, Brooks Brothers. What if this is one right after it? Ready? Nope. 
This is insane. This is insane. Yo, people are going to think I'm like, oh my gosh, this is insane. I promise I didn't plant all this stuff here. I did not plant all this stuff here, I promise. I might actually list these today. I might just go home and list these. I'm like pumped. Jack Lang. Did somebody tell me to pick these up? Jack Lang. Didn't one of you guys tell me to pick this up? Jason, what do you think? If we finally got Jason, we got somebody with some knowledge, some excellent knowledge in here. Not like all of you guys didn't have knowledge. Jason, what do you think about these suits? Am I supposed to be picking these up? Jack Lang. They're only five bucks. Spending 600 today? No. Jack Victor. Okay, Jack Victor was the one. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let me look it up. I think, uh, I think chat already said pass on that one. Ralph Lauren, yeah, we'll go, we'll go back. We'll, we'll go back to the beginning. We'll get to the Ralph Lauren. We'll definitely will. Joseph A's. This is... Um, 80 to 125 sold. Let's go. Let's go. That's awesome. All right, I'm not seeing anything else. We're almost to the end, and then we're going to go back to the beginning and go through those. All right, so you said yes to the... You said yes to this. This is silk, wool, and cashmere. It's a 48 long Loren, Ralph Loren. This one is $10 though. So $10 is okay to spend on this? Yes, 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 okay. Really nice one. Might do my live tonight wearing one of these suits. There's no elbow patches on this one though. The one with the elbow patches was up here. I think I should wear a suit on my live tonight. This one doesn't have a brand. There's no brand on that one. Find the Scottish tweed. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go back. It, I think it was in this pile, right, that we were going through, where we found the Scottish tweed. Maybe it's the beginning. It's over here. Calvin Klein. To the end of the road. Gant Thomas. That's not the Scottish Tweed. Massimo Duty. Should I pick that one up? Everybody's telling me to pass on it, though. People were put, people were people were uh, back and forth on that one. Near the beginning, yes. Okay, it should be right up here somewhere. Maybe it was, it was partially the way down. Because I don't see it here. There's an LL Bean. That's not it, that's not it, that's not it. What size is the Ralph? It's a 48 long, I believe, is what we just saw. I think it's a 48L. Pretty sure it is. Today's man. Yeah, we didn't go through this part, I don't believe. It's a J. Crew. 
Tommy Hilfiger. Joseph A's. Harrington. Yeah, 48L. Cool. I don't think that's a good brand. That's kind of funky looking. Essentials. I'm starting to sweat now. This is actual work. It's like the bins. I don't know if I like this. Hermes Burberry Versace. We already found a Versace. Um, we found a couple Peter Millars. Found tons of Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers full suits. Here's another Christian Dior. This one's only $750. Do I pick up Christian Dior for $750? No, you're fine. I pick up Christian Dior for seven fifty. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay, pick it up for seven fifty. It's in the cart, or it's in my arm right now. It'll be in the cart in a second. We haven't even gone through shorts yet. It's gonna be one of our longest live thrifts ever. Lots of Joseph A's here. Holy cow. I guess, yeah, Joseph A's would be a pass because there's literally like 3,000 of them at every store. Yes, I'm Dior. Okay. Wall Street collection. Nope. Sorry, I'm trying to show the labels too, but some of these are pretty hard to show the labels. It's a Hagger. And then Society brand. Are you in LA? No, I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida, which is way better than being in LA. That's a Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Joseph Hayes. Um, it's Jack Henry. Jack Henry. Is that like the guy's name that has the suit? It's 100% pure wool, and it is a 48XL. Wayne just became a suit reseller machine. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. It is, that, that suit is $34.99, so it is pretty expensive, but um, I know that is, a, that is a pickup. Oh, my gosh. That is actually insane. That is actually insane. Um, so we found Canali, we found Versace, we found Burberry. What's next? Gucci? Uh, are we gonna are we gonna find a Gucci uh, blazer here? I think that's the only that's the only one left. Where are some other top top brands? Somebody name them in the chat because I just want to say them because for some reason when we're saying them today we're finding them. And Peter times two. Yeah, we found Peter Millar times two. I mean, Peter Millar at this point, that's like the low end. <laughs> it's crazy to say that, but that is actually the low end that we found. Zegna, Armani. I think we found an Armani Calazzoni too. Um, Continental Cashmere, New York. Continental Cashmere, New York. Oh, this one has some damage on it though. Yeah, we're going to pass either way. It's got some damage on the inside. Pendleton? Pendleton, I don't suit jackets. I don't think sell very well. Burberry selling new for two thousand. Yeah, it's, that's uh, that's an insane find. Calvin Klein. Dockers. Uh, Bruno Casoni can't find it. Okay, fine. Okay. That one I should be looking for. Hickey Freeman. We've already passed on like five Hickey Freemans from uh, their Nordstrom Rack collabs with Hickey Freeman. 
Um, was I supposed to pick those up? Tom Ford is good. Okay, Tom Ford is good, supposedly. Um, if you guys are re-watching this on YouTube and you think I passed on anything that I should have picked up, let me know in the chat. Hugo Boss, um, I, I've already passed on like a million of those too. Hugo Boss, there's, I think there's too many of them. There's Tommy Hilfiger, Joseph A. Valentino for $17.50. Tom Ford for sure. What about Valentino? I don't know if Valentino suits so well. Yes. People are saying yes to the Valentino. Okay, somebody told me Barney's is good too. Barney's is good. This is $5.99. Absolutely Valentino, okay. Barney's yes. Good Lord. Um, I think I just bought out the suit section. Yes to Barney's, okay. Well, Barney's is in the cart now. There's no going back. Sean, Sean John, uh, Sean John's not good. Michael Kors, no, I think Michael Kors is always a pass. Anything Michael Kors is a pass, really. Pavone? Pavone. Man, I wish I knew some of these brands so I can actually talk about what I'm doing, but uh, if you're just watching this and you're like, this guy has no clue what he's doing, you're absolutely correct. Okay, the Harris Tweed was right around here, if I remember correctly. Let's pull this out of the way. Time to research shoes. I know, that's what I'll be doing tonight on live. After I'm done, I'm going to be researching suits all night. It's really boring to do, but obviously it needs to be done. All right, I think the Harris Tweed was somewhere in this section. Um, I want to say it was like right, right around here. Somebody said to pick up the Harris Tweed. What is going on? There's no way this is happening. There's no, there's no chat. What in the freak? I know, I'm gonna put Mr. At Peak out of business. What is going on right now? What is going on right now? What did you just find? I just found a Peter Millar. Another one, that's number three. All right, I'm determined to find this Harris Tweed because somebody said Harris Tweed is good, right chat? Am I, am I, I'm actually looking for a Harris Tweed. Or am I supposed to be looking for a Harris Tweed? I guess at this point I'm finding Peter Millar still, so. Did you pick up the Valentino? I did pick up the Valentino, it's in my cart. If anybody out there needs some suits, I can hook you up for a great price. Because <laughs> I just, like, hit the suit jackpot. Um, don't stop now. Keep looking. I know. We're almost done. We've already been through the back end of this aisle. I kind of skipped around because I didn't think I was going to actually stick around. But uh, clearly, uh, clearly we are. Scottish Tweed? Okay. I think we found one over here. Joseph A. Not that one. Can we get like another Burberry just to like end it off? There we go. Three, four, six, Brooks Brothers. It is a wool, wool, little, little, little bit of a wool blend. And is a great size too. It's a 46R, which I believe is one of the better sizes, right? What's up, Nicole? Nicole Kobe? It's like a brown color, but it looks really nice. I just came a, became a res, uh, suit reseller today. This is my this might be my new favorite thing to find. There it is. This is uh this is worth picking up. It's Harris Tweed hand woven, 100% Scottish wool for three bucks. Everybody, this is good, right? 
Do me a favor in chat. Say Harris Tweed is amazing. Raid from Kayla. Kayla's done. Yes. Just left your wife live. She did great. Yeah, we're we're killing it over here right now. We're absolutely um, destroying it. Okay, I think that's it. We've already been through all of these. We've already been through all these. So that's everything in the suit aisle. We still got the shorts to go through, and this is what we're looking at right now. That's what we're looking at. I'm not even going to look up these suits. I'm going to trust you guys because I don't really don't want to look them up. <laughs> I just saw this peeking out. Five bucks. Should I pick up these? They're brand new. 38s. Oh, never mind. They're brand new with holes. Anyone brand new with holes? All right, we still got to go through the shorts and then we're done. Oh my God, I can't even, pull, I can't even push this cart. This cart is massive. Yeah, brand new with holes. Anybody want brand new with the holes attached? Holes get better air circulation? They do. All right. I can't leave the shorts behind. I know I don't really need any more, but I can't leave the shorts behind. What size are the Versace? I don't know, hold on. We just, uh, we just committed a foul. Hang out for a second. We just made the penalty. Um, somebody throw a flag on the play. Maybe this is moving this cart is a really bad idea. All right, we're gonna leave it right here. We're not gonna move. Cashier will love you. I think they will too. Do you think the cashier will either give me a smile or a frown? Everybody in chat, vote right now. Smile or frown? Majestic. If the, uh, the scam callers can stop calling me today, I'd really appreciate it. I'm not selling my house. My house is not for sale. Thank you. It's a, a red, wine, blue is a frown, 100%. <laughs> that was a uh, rhetorical question. We all knew the answer to that one. This might have been our probably our best thrift day ever. This is all because of the suits. And, and do you, can you guys imagine that nobody, not one person who came in here to resell went through the suits? Not one. Everybody just passed up the opportunity like I would have done because I do it every week too. Now I'm, I've become a suit reseller. We're just going to skim through this because to be honest, I really don't want to find anything because I already have too much. Pretty sure I've gotten a frown every single time with red, white, blue. Yeah, I think I get a frown pretty much every time we walk up. We used to get smiles and not so much anymore. They're like these people again every Wednesday. I think the cashiers see us and if they have somebody they're checking out, they like take like twice as long because they want to make sure that we go with another cashier. Uh, I love looking at suit jackets. I never did before today's live to be 100% honest with you guys. Never ever did. And now, I think I'm going to do it at every thrift store I ever go to from here on out forevermore. We are going thrifting tomorrow, and uh, but we're going to be putting that up on YouTube. We're going to make one single YouTube day that we're going thrifting, and we're going to put that up on YouTube. We're not going to do the weekly one like we normally do. So go check us out on YouTube if you're not following us already. Yeah. Oh, man. K-Way Shop over on YouTube as well. My wife was live. If you're not following her, she was just live. Kay the Book Nerd. We'll give her a follow. And then, of course, uh, like I've already announced a few times in this live, I did um, get approved for Whatnot auctions. So if you guys aren't signed up for Whatnot, link tree link in my bio. Go to the link tree link. 
If you sign up through my link, you get $10 to spend on WhatNot for absolutely free. Your first WhatNot purchase is, is on K-Way. So go ahead and sign up through my link. Give me a follow on WhatNot. We're gonna be auctioning off some amazing stuff. As you guys can see, this is all from one store. We can't process all this inventory. So what we're planning to do is we're gonna create some boxes for you guys. And we're gonna auction them off on WhatNot. So we're gonna fill each box with about 10 items really good solid quality inventory like the stuff we've been picking up here today and then uh, we're going to auction it off we're going to show you everything that's in the box before we start our auction so that way you guys can decide whether you want to bid on that box or not that'll be coming within like a week or two so do me a favor link tree link in my bio go to whatnot sign up through my link you get ten dollars to spend for free you can hold out and wait till our auction or you can spend it on somebody else's auction support some other whatnot resellers and then come to our first whatnot live it should be within the next week or so first whatnot live what was a versace find it was a versace suit versace suit jacket versace versace medusa head on me like i'm luminati this is a gated community please get the fuck off the property michael kors we've already been through the jackets i think that's it i gotta find kayla <clears throat> i thought she just ended her live but i don't see her how do you focus on talking impressive um, one thing about lives is you got to keep the chat going. So I'm, I'm, I'm notorious for talking a lot. And then after I get off live, I don't say anything for the rest of the day. That's three or four Peter Millar suits. I think we found three. I think we found three. I got to flag down Kayla. I don't really want to move this cart anymore. And I don't want to leave it here because I got lots of good stuff in it. Let me flip this camera really quick. She was by jackets and dresses. Okay. Look at this. I don't, I don't really want to move this thing anymore because it's going to fall over. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't go through the beginning jackets. That's right, because there was a guy here. So let's go through the beginning of the jackets, and then we'll call it a day. I forgot there was a dude drifting over here, so I never went through this part of the jackets. There's an Aerie. Aerie's a good brand, right? Aerie for four bucks. I'm pretty sure this is a scoop. Let me just put that back. Aerie's good, right? You ladies in chat. I don't know what it's doing over here in the men's section, but. No? Pass? Okay. Never mind. Don't listen to K Way. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Leave it behind. The people have spoken. Fog. One of my followers hit me up. Shout out to you if you're watching this. They thought this meant fear of God. It's actually London Fog. It says it right there. If it was a fear of God jacket, I would definitely pick it up, but it's a London. London Fog. I forgot we didn't go through this part, so this will be our last little bit. Orvis, vintage Orvis, it's been here forever. I gotta mark that thing down. So a Reebok, this is a old school Reebok, but it doesn't have a hit on it, so we're gonna pass. It's a Lucky brand. Looks like a down jacket. Air equals American Eagle. Oh, isn't there one that's like right around that? It's like, sounds like Airy. I don't know. I don't know you, all those women's brands. <clears throat> North End. New follower, BM. Appreciate the uh, follow over on Whatnot. Thank you so much. I'll let you guys know as soon as we know about our first auction, we will let you guys know about it. And then we'll let you guys bookmark it so you'll get a notification as soon as we have it ready to go. All right, that's it. We've already been through all these jackets. Did you pass Patagonia? No, I didn't pass Patagonia. I would never make that mistake. All right. <clears throat> Chat, I think we're gonna have to call it, a, call it a day here. I know you guys are sad, but uh, I think we scored big. We got, we got lots of good stuff in here. I got, we got a, go through our cart at this point we're going to check over everything make sure everything is good doesn't have any stains um, comps look good and then we are going to head off so i appreciate you guys hanging out we're going to be live tonight we'll go over everything we found today at 9 30 eastern standard time p.m so be sure to be on our live tonight um, kayla will show off her finds i'll show off my finds and we'll be live on youtube as well so appreciate you guys hanging out i'll catch you on the next one peace